John, there's a, a show business axiom that a comedian has to have closer rapport with an audience than a singer, a dancer, or an actor. Why is that? Well, because a dancer, per se, is a, uh, an act that people are... They're spectator sports, so to speak. You're observing, you're watching a singer. Not so much as a singer. A singer has to have a little more communication with the audience, and that's why the good ones do have that unidentifiable rapport with an audience. The audience has a, a relation, because a singer is doing nothing more than telling a story. A dancer is telling a story in a way, but you're observing more. What you call, the, I suppose, the dumb acts, the jugglers come out, they, they perform in vaudeville. But a comedian or a singer are communicating on a more personal level. You're trying to work on people's emotions and their thoughts and the way they feel about things. So I think that's a, it's a very close personal relationship. You're trying to identify with people. Uh, before people are going to laugh, you've got to get them in a frame of mood. You've got maybe five, six, eight hundred people in a room, or maybe ten thousand people. You've got all kinds of senses of humor. Uh, you've got to hit a lot of different responses in those people as to what they find amusing. So it does become a personal uh, give and take between the audience. Uh, and as you know, there are performers who can get on a stage and perform, but have no contact with the audience. They perform mechanically. I'm getting up and here I am, and they do things. But they don't have that transference between the audience and the performer. And I think you have to have that, as I said before, the likability or something that the audience relates to you when you're on the stage. They just don't see a performer or a guy standing there or a person who is now going to sing a song or is going to tell some jokes. There becomes a transference, a give and take between the audience. You're giving something, they're giving something back to you. Which is, in essence, the same thing when you meet somebody, or the communication between two people. It's a very personal thing, comedy, you know. To me, anyway. 